Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a hole in our bag tag so that you have a place to hang the tag. So I'm going to try and get this centered a little bit. I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on the scroll mouse that lets me pan and move this to the center of my screen. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to click my scroll and orbit a little bit so I a little bit of an angle to it. And what we're going to do in order to figure out where we want the hole over here on the left is we're going to use some guidelines. For guidelines, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the toolbars on the left and we're going to choose the tape measure. We're going to choose that tape measure and I'm going to bring this onto the uh, long edge right here. I'm going to bring it to the middle where I see that center point, that blue point. I'm going to click and release my mouse and then slide this down and I'm going to bring my mouse over here where I find the center point and I'm going to click one more time and now I have a guideline right down the center of this piece. That lets me know if I put anything on that line, it's centered. Let's show you that one more time. Again, choose the tape measure, come to the long end, find this midpoint, click and release, bring this down, and then come on over here till you find that midpoint, got to snap to that midpoint, and click one more time, and now you have a line down the center. Now, let's set up our next guideline. We're going to find the center point, uh, the center point for our hole. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just come along this edge. I'm not going to go to the middle. I'm going to come along the edge here. I'm going to click once and release. I'm going to bring this line down. And here I'm going to manually type in a number. See how I can move it. And it kind of tells me what size. It jumps like a millimeter by a millimeter. But I'm going to type in 7mm and hit enter. And now I have a line across this piece 7 millimeters from that edge. We now have our guidelines. Let's go ahead and put a hole in this piece. So to put a hole in this piece, I'm going to orbit this around a little bit so I can see this side a little better. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my circle tool. <clears throat> and I'm going to find that center point. Notice when I highlight here, it says intersection. It's where those two lines cross. I'm going to click and release. I'm going to drag my circle out. And here I'm going to type in a radius of 3 millimeters, 3 mm and hit enter. Now I have a six millimeter diameter or a three millimeter radius. There's my circle for my hole. Now let's go ahead and make a hole. Let's come and find the push pull tool. We're going to grab this push pull tool. Now if you just grab this and bring it down, it's going to stick out the bottom. So let's take the guesswork out of that and we're going to come click on this and we're going to drag it down, but in doing so, I'm also going to bring my mouse right here, and you'll see it says on edge. I'm going to bring it down to that bottom line. And once I click there, you will see when I orbit, there is a hole in your piece. So now we've done guidelines and created our hole. I'm going to click save, and we'll go to our next step.